get silly penalties. We, you know, overthrow a football, you know, don't don't tackle, you name it. Um, you know, again, I'm not making any excuses. I mean, but that's the way it is. It, again, for us, it's, it's you know, we, we got to watch it. We got to see it. You got to own it. You know, you got to solve it. And then we got to go do it. You know, the other side of that, the, the you know, the, the other side, if you want to do that, it's blame, complain, deny, or make excuses. And we're not going to do that. You know, it is what it is. And, uh, you know, fans have that right. I, I give it to them. And, you know, I just encourage him to donate more because that's what those teams are doing. And, and, uh, and uh, yeah, I can promise you in Georgia, they, they bought some pretty good players. You're allowed to these days. And uh, we could use some help. That's what they look like. You know what I mean? When you have 85 of them. So, so uh, uh, I encourage uh, anybody that's disgruntled to, to pony up some more. All right. So there you go. That was, Those are the comments. There's a lot to unpack there. Uh, I'll just give you my breakdown from start to finish. First of all, and then get your all's comments. First of all, I would say it's clear Jordan or Jason from Louisville got under Stoops' skin. You know, Stoops does the not being sensitive about it, but he was pretty sensitive about it. Now, I think Jason from Louisville was clearly trying to pick at Stoops, and I think he was giving a criticism that I think is unfair. There, there's a stat that's been floating around that Stoops has only beaten two teams that finished the SEC with a winning record. Stoops says, I think that stat's wrong. Stoops is incorrect. That stat is correct. We have only beaten two teams in the SEC that finished the season with a winning record in the SEC. With that said, we've only finished with a winning record in the SEC twice. It's hard to do. We've only done it twice in my lifetime. So that's one of the things that people don't realize. We've finished five and three or better in the conference twice and we were five and three. So the stat was correct. I do think, as we've said many times, it's harder to win here than elsewhere. I agree with well, a lot of what Stoops said, but that clearly rubbed him the wrong way. I had no problem with his, if you think you could do better, Jason, bring it on. That's a Stoops thing to say. I get it. I'd probably say the same thing. This isn't that hard to win. Here's where he goes off track at the end. He says, I'm not making any excuses, but... They got 85 great guys, and if you want them, we got to invest more. And Georgia buys players, and everybody pony up. My view, Ryan, is this. We didn't lose 51-13 to 13 because we didn't pony up in NIL. We got to do better in NIL. We do. Kentucky's doing better than I thought they would in football. But to be with Georgia, we'll have to do that. But we lost 51-13 because we were unprepared. We were out-schemed. Our players made stupid penalties. We did terrible things, and we got crushed. If you lose by seven on the road to Georgia, I'm fine saying, you know what? We're going to have to go get better players. But I don't think you can say that when you looked awful on Saturday. And, by the way, you got a roster full of players that will hear those comments and go, what do you mean? What do you mean? you got to get better dudes than us. I think it was... Mark Stoops has done almost everything right since he's been here. I think when he speaks publicly, he usually does an amazing job. This is a rare whiff, but Ryan, I do think this is a whiff. I think he misread the room, and I think it was a really stupid statement for him to make. I This first time I've, I've heard it was right then. And I think the first part of it, he was saying, I really didn't have that much of a problem with it. And then he said... You know, pony up, do it yourself. It was almost like he got a pop in wrestling. That people clap, and that gave him a little. No, no, he said pony up at the end. He said at the end, if you pop. can do better, go go and do it. I don't mind that comment. He didn't get a clap for pony up. No, I just I think that's that. important. You said he got a pop. He, he did. He got a pop. He said, po you know, come no. and come and do the job yourself. That's different things. Though. I know. That's what I'm trying to say. I said he got the applause, but he said, you know, come in and do it yourself. He got the applause, and I think that kind of got him going a little bit, and then he said something he shouldn't have. It's a wrong time to say something that coming off that game you just had against Georgia. Yeah, I mean, obviously, <clears throat> Stoops believes what he says, or he wouldn't say it in that situation. It's just a horrible time to say it. If you really want to ask the fans to pony up, one, I don't think you should do it on the call-in show. I mean, that's—I don't think the people, well, the people with the listen, money are listening. Exactly, to the that. people listening to the call-in show, show are not the people who can I know, pony I, up. I definitely the wrong audience to start. But if you really feel like you have to do that, you do it after a big win, and you say, "Now we can go one step further." You don't do it when your team just embarrassed itself on the yes. road. When your approval rating just took a little bit of a hit, you then don't go ask for money at a low point. Go. 
Eight Ask one in the off and then say, just yes. think how much better we can be yes. if we just keep doing more. You know, that's but the worst. The before, was horrible last night. But remember, they launched the Kentucky fifteen last year, the week after we lost to Vandy. Yeah, that's right. Right, like that's when they launched the. And now you ask for more money, Shannon, after you get whipped at, at Georgia. The timing is just terrible. It is, and Jason's not getting eight million dollars to bring it on either. So somebody that's making eight million dollars, nine. Uh, well, nine million, whatever it may be. Not the right time, not the right place to start asking fans for money after you get your butt whooped by Georgia. Don't and you're talking it. to Bob and James Town and the, just the casual fan who's already probably giving more than they can at that point. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to say Stoops is anything but a great coach, and I think he's a great person. He's a friend of the show. But when people mess up, you got to say they messed up. Somebody, I, Listen, if Cal had said that, we would we would criticize it. You got to criticize it with Stoops too. That is a tone deaf comment, considering where it is. And I think it was a big screw up by Stoops. I, now look, they go beat Missouri Saturday. Everybody gets over it. But if you go lose to Missouri Saturday, they're going. People are going to go. Did we not pony up enough to beat Missouri? I mean, we got better players than Missouri. I just think that was a really dumb time to make that comment. And I think we'll talk more about it after the break. But I think that. For a coach that never gives excuses, that was an excuse. He made an excuse. And for a dude who always says, I'm not sensitive and I'm not making an excuse, you were both right there, and that was a mistake. 859-280-2287. What do you think? We will take a break. We'll talk more about it and then take your calls. Be right back at El Mariachi. It's KSR. To talk to Matt Jones.